So do you actually do custom videos? I do. What are some of the most ridiculous requests you've received? <laughs> um, or maybe fun requests. I don't know. It depends well, on I don't know if I, I would say ridiculous, but I would say unique. Okay. Um, I have this one fellow who uh, hits me up for videos of my nose. Huh. And it's just like here. And it's just like me like pinching my nose or like things like that. Or he likes blowing the nose. Wow. It's just nose. And he also really likes it when it's just like the phone light and no other light. So it's very like intense, very stark. Have you ever asked him why? I don't need to know why. I'm, like, I'm always so curious as to know like where yeah. people's fetishes come from. I feel like sometimes they know, but often I feel like it's it's just so like something in childhood. Like, mm -hmm. and also I just I don't need to know. It's not my yeah. business. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like who cares? You enjoy, sir. Like that's that's all we need to have. Yeah, I had a conversation with Madison Ivy about this because apparently like she's. I've never noticed, but she has like bigger nostrils, I guess. Oh. Um, she said there was a whole Reddit. <laughs> oh God. To the size of her nostrils. That's. Mm. And there's some people who are really into her nostrils, and That's they like crazy. want pictures, and, like videos, like of her nostrils. Wow. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I I do not have that sort of Reddit community. <laughs> Mine is yeah, just. I don't know. Have it's you just all boobs. It's you do have lovely boobs. It's just all about the boobs. You do yeah, have lovely boobs. They're great. Which I know you spent a lot of money on. I did. I did spend a lot of money on them. Which I think is important. It is. Because you there's yeah. you know, plastic surgery is one of those things you cannot Don't like, try to get a group on on it. Like <laughs> no, no, you don't want to go on the cheap on that. Mm -mm. It is always going to um you're going to regret it. Oh, like yeah. just don't get it at that point. Like, don't try to get a discount on surgery. Like you wouldn't want that for like heart surgery. Why would you want it for plastic surgery? Like it's still surgery. You're still being put under. This is true. And I tell people a lot of the times too, like people see my boobs now. They don't see like what they used to look like before mm -hmm. I got them or before I had the revision, mm -hmm. uh, which was very early into my porn career. And it's like I had to have two. A lot of people have to have two. You should expect to have to have two. Mm. It's just, you know, it's. They do surgery as like a one size fits all thing, but it's they're doing what they need to do for most people. But mm -hmm. you're probably not most people because there are outliers outside of average. And yeah, you might need a revision. You might need to pay double what you paid and get another surgery. Did you go to the same doctor for your mm -hmm. revision? Yes, I really liked him. Uh, I love his bedside manner and he wears cowboy boots every time I see him. Well, that's that's that sells me. Very nice guy. So what? why did you have to have the revision? Because um, obviously mm -hmm. you, you must not have felt that it was like malpractice. As to no, why no, not at it. all. And it's... You know, like I said, like sometimes you can do everything that you would normally do for a surgery and totally appropriate, but not everyone's body is going to respond the same way. Yeah. And uh, the situation that I had, uh, they fell out of pocket. Mm. So my nipples are like way up here and the scar like where the incision was was like higher on the boob than it should be because it should be in like the fold if that's where you're yeah. going through. And then I... And very vascular mm -hmm. and the scars didn't heal well at that point and i was trying to get these like vascular lasers done to fix the scar and i was just like basically playing catch up mm -hmm. um so i talked to my surgeon i'm like do i need surgery to fix you know it looks like they're like wonky and he's like oh yeah you definitely need surgery and he's like it'll also be a good time because then you can start literally as soon as the incision is healed you can start doing the laser then and preventing it instead of trying to play catch up and right um, they're the exact same implants, everything like that. They just, the capsule that forms around them, they stipped, stitched that to my rib cage and moved them up and in and uh, did that. And I think they look great. I'm super, super happy with how they turned out. I was very worried about getting the revision. I'm like, I'm going to pay X number, thousand more dollars, and they might look fucked up again. Mm -hmm. But I am I couldn't be more pleased yeah. now. And what a lot of people don't realize, too, is you usually have to get them redone every 10 years, right? Um, so that's actually uh, sort of like old thinking on it. Mm. Um, and I, I asked my surgeon about that, too, when I got them done. And he's like, unless you have an issue with it, you don't really need to. And then if, if you do and it's been like 15 years or so, you might want to get like a scan, see if there's anything wrong. But with the way that the implants are made now. Like you could keep them as long as you feel fine with them. You really don't need to do anything. So, yeah, I guess the, when I think of that, I think about people who are getting them redone now mm -hmm. who had them originally done 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. And the technology. Was yeah, different. exactly. And it's, you know, the 
especially if you're having like saline or something mm-hmm. like that where it's the implant might not be as like sturdy mm-hmm. but yeah 